hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up yes you guys this is a shop my stash video i know i haven't done one of these on my channel in so long but i decided to bring this series back and i'm actually really really excited about it and i'm happy to be getting back into my makeup collection and starting to use my things more often so i want to share with you guys everything that i picked out for my shop my stash and i believe i'm going to be doing it again like how i used to for a month and then i will switch out the products we'll talk about the old products and then um talk about the new products so this is currently what I'm going to be using for the next two, three, four weeks. And I'm actually really happy about the assortment of products that I chose. So now you guys are going to see my hands and I'm going to start picking up the products and we're going to talk about them, why I chose them, what I'm excited to do with them, all of that good stuff. So let's actually start with the complexion products. So I picked out two different primers. The first one is an oldie, but a goodie one that I actually needed to revisit. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Matter primer I remember this used to be my all-time favorite primer like nothing was touching this primer and then you know I just discovered a different type of look that I wanted to go for a different type of primer combination so I threw this one down and I hadn't picked it up in a really really long time but I'm excited to refamiliarize myself with this primer so that's why I'm putting it in here and then the next one is going to be this NYX marshmallow primer now this is new to me I have not used this yet I've actually had it for a couple of months and haven't gotten around to using it. So I'm actually really excited to be putting it in the shop my stash and seeing what the hype is with this one. So those are going to be my two primers. And then I chose two foundations as well. So the first one is going to be the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Smooth oh no velvety matte foundation so i have mine in two shades actually i have gabon and burkina but for this shot my stash i chose burkina which is the lightest of the two because it's still winter time but this is another product that i really just want to refamiliarize myself with i haven't used it in a really long time but i know that i loved it when i did use it it was the perfect matte finish it held up against my oily skin very very well it was transfer resistant and all of that good stuff so i'm excited to get back into using this same for the covergirl true blend matte made foundation a lot of these products is going to be very repetitive you guys because i chose them for the reason of wanting to re-familiarize myself with them because i know that i used to like them but because i just have been doing such a terrible job of rotating through all of my makeup i haven't used any of these products in so long so i'm ready to pick them back up and love on them and have fun with them so that's what we're going to be doing with these two foundations and then the one lone setting spray that i'm going to be using this is the ulta beauty wannabe free makeup setting spray this one controls shine. I actually have two of these. One is an SPF version and then I have this one that's supposed to be like more of a mattifying version. So um, yeah, I actually lost the cap to this one, but we're still going to use it. I think it's a really nice face setting spray. So I'm putting that in here. So that's it for my primers and foundation and setting spray. We're going to move down here to this drawer and talk about my concealers. So the first product I have here, this is the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint in the shade 130 Deep Peach. This product only comes in three shades and I had to really get used to using this product so I have used it before this does a really good job when I want those like no makeup days and I want to just wear maybe my eyeshadow behind my mask and I don't really want to do any face makeup putting this under my eyes really helps to bring life and light to my eyes because I really don't like how it looks when I just wear eyeshadow and no face makeup I feel like it makes my under eyes look even darker so I like to use this product on those days where I don't want to wear any face makeup but I want to wear eye makeup and it really just helps to brighten that under eye area and I can either choose to put concealer on top of it or not so that is why um, I want to use this product this is actually new to me but I might keep this in all of my shop my stash rotations just because of the type of product that it is so that's that then we have of course the Juvia's Place I Am Magic concealer and mine is in the shade 12 so again I remember really liking this concealer especially paired with the foundation so I'm just trying to get back into it and love on it and then I have the cover girl true blend undercover concealer and this one is in the shade warm honey so yeah i do really like this concealer it's full coverage it's heavy duty i have used it here recently um not recent enough but <laughs> you know i have used it here recently and i remember that i really like this formula and this concealer it's full coverage a little bit heavy duty matte you know it does all the things for me that i need so i just wanted to pull it back out and use it with that covergirl foundation so those are the concealers that i'm choosing for this go round 
for powders i have a few powders in here face powders and loose powders so the first one we're going to talk about is the fancy beauty loose setting powder and this one is in the shade honey you guys know this is their pro filter setting powder now I don't like this powder, not because of the formula, but because the actual color is too dark for me, in my opinion, to under um, highlight my under eyes. So I have to either mix this in with a translucent powder or use this to like bake my entire face so that my makeup doesn't transfer into my mask. But that's pretty much all I can do with this powder. So I will be probably using this to bake and set my face. And then if I wanna, you know, use it to set my under eyes, I will mix it with one of the translucent powders I have put in here. Or I will use this product right here, which is the Morphe Filter Effect Setting Powder. And I have mine in the shade number four. It says Filter Four. And basically, this is a really bright banana highlighting powder. And I can use this on top of the Fenty Beauty Honey Powder to give me more of that bright under eye effect that I like and that I'm looking for. So that's why I wanted to add this in here with this product. And then I have my Cody Airspun Face Setting Powder. And I really, really like this one. It's in the shade translucent there is a ton of product in here and I don't use this often so I need to get on it and start to use it more I really do like the formula I think it's so smooth one of the best drugstore loose setting powders so I just want to use that one and then for my face setting powder I added in the Fenty Beauty powder foundation now for me I love to use a powder foundation to set down my actual liquid foundations because it gives more coverage it mattifies and it just makes the face look flawless so this is in the shade 14 20 and it's their soft matte powder foundation and I just need to use it more and appreciate it so this is that product so moving down to my bronzer drawer I have my bronzers that I picked out for this iteration of shop my stash and the first one is going to be my elf putty bronzer this one is in the shade sunkiss I actually do really like the formula of the elf putty bronzers it's not as emollient and soft as like the Huda Beauty Tantor that you guys know I have been loving on but it still is a really nice formula, a really good product, and I love the color. It looks to be so super dark in the pot, but it actually shows up on my skin pretty warm as a nice, you know, bronzer color. So I do really enjoy this, and I love using it with their, like, um, their double-ended brush. And then for my bronzers, I actually pulled out some of my winter shades of bronzer. So the first one that we have here is my Maybelline City Bronzer in the deepest shade, which is 300. Now, I know this bronzer looks to be super duper light, but I like to just add color to my face now and not just try to chisel out my features with my bronzer. I can use my darker bronzers for that, but for actually bringing some warmth and some color to my face, I can get away with using this product and I need to use it more because I haven't appreciated it or loved on it as much as I should. So I pulled it out and then I also pulled out this matte collection bronzer. I really don't remember exactly what collection this came from, but this is their Totally Topeless Bronzing Matte Powder and this is the shade of it right here. So again, this one does the same as the Maybelline City Bronzer. It kind of just gives more color and warmth to my face. It doesn't really chisel me out. It doesn't really make my jawline hollow or anything like that. It just gives a nice warmth to my skin. And I can show you guys the swatches of those products on my arm right now. So to the left, we have the Maybelline City Bronzer right here. And then to the right, we have the MAC Bronzer. So as you guys can see, they kind of give like color to my skin. So I picked out two blush palettes that I really want to get some use out of. This one is new to my collection. This is the BH Cosmetics Doja Cat Flora Blush Trio in the shade Poppy. And I was mostly intrigued by this one because the colors just seem like me i love this bright orange shade but i do have a lot of bright orange blushes in my collection so i didn't go for this palette for that one i went for these two shades right here and they are exactly what i want when i mix these two shades together it gives me this really warm terracotta natural flush to my cheeks and i am obsessed with that and then i pulled out one of my morphe blush trios i pretty much have all of these trios except for maybe the lightest one and i need to get more use out of them so this one is in the shade pop of fuchsia and this one is more of those like super pinky mauvey blush tones which i think will go really really nice with the eyeshadow palettes that i picked out for this round so i'm excited to dip into this entire blush trio i actually go ahead and swatch the blushes for you guys okay so here are the swatches of those blush trios so of course the first warmer one is the bh cosmetics and doja cat and then the more pink one is the morphe and i really really like these colors these are going to be 
be so so pretty so i'm excited to be playing with these and then i picked out three highlighters for this round again i'm really excited about the highlighters that i chose because i feel like they're just gonna go with the whole aesthetic that i'm going for so the first one is the revlon lights prismatic highlighter and i haven't used this baby in a minute but i have mine in the shade twilight gleam i love this like snake skin pattern on it or dragon scale i think that's dragon scales um i love the pattern but y'all can see that i've used it a bit but not as much so i really really like this highlighter it kind of has this nice glittery effect to it so so pretty on the skin and i am a huge fan of glitter so i'm obsessed with that and then i have an oldie but a goodie this is the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in crown of my canopy which is more on the pinky side so i'll swatch that one next to this so as you guys can see it's definitely more of that icy pink color and it's a lot smoother than the revlon one so that one will be nice and then i chose a loose highlighter from artist couture this one is in the shade summer haze this one is a really icy peachy kind of purple shifty color i really really enjoy this one though so i'll go ahead and give y'all a swatch of this one so that's what summer haze looks like like i told you guys it's very very icy and it has a peachy tone to it like if you guys can see in the cap it has that peachy tone to it but then it has like a purple shift as well which is why i love the name and i love the product so i'm excited to use that one as well so that's it for the highlighters let's do the lip products and then we can get into the fun part which is the eyeshadow palettes so again with my lip products i was very strategic in choosing what i wanted so the first two are going to be my color pop bullet lipstick so the first one i have is moody bloom this one is a really deep purple fuchsia kind of color it is absolutely gorgeous if my camera will focus on it the color is so pretty i'll give y'all a swatch of that lipstick it is so bold but it's still sexy very pretty and i can definitely wear that color i don't wear a lot of colored lipsticks anymore i'm very much so into my nudes but i'm definitely going to be putting that one on and then the next one that i have here is from the makeup up shayla collab yes this is old but this one is in the shade quickie and it's pretty much just a pale pale nude but it's definitely going to go with the other lip products that i added to this shop my stash so that one is so pretty and i can't wait to get some use out of that and then i found one of my favorite mac lipsticks that i've ever had in my life this is from the mac and kelly olsen collection y'all if y'all remember this collection leave a comment down below this is pretty old but this used to be one of my favorite lipsticks of life this is in the shade dodgy girl y'all when i lived in korea i practically wore this lipstick every day i was obsessed but i decided to throw that in there because i definitely want to get some use out of that because i really really like that lipstick shade and i miss it so then I'm pulling in a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this one is in the shade London. It's another nude color but that's fine because we know I love my nudes and that is right up my alley. It's more of like that beige nude so very pretty so i'm excited for that one and then i also had to throw in a nude lip gloss of course to go with those nude lipsticks this is from the morphe x madison beer collection and this one is in the shade mars so this is again another beige nude kind of color so it will play really nicely with either quickie or the london matte lip cream from nyx so that's what that looks like very very pretty like i said it'll go with both of those new lipsticks and then last i have this gloss from dose of colors and the desi x katie collaboration this one is in the color the most and this one is that like pink purple pearlescent shifting lip gloss that will look really good over the top of any pinky purple lip glosses and lipsticks or even the nudes it'll look really really nice with the nudes because of that nice pinky pearlescence that it has and i just really need to get some more use out of this gloss so i picked that as well i coordinated my lip liners to go with my lip products as well so i did pick out i believe three yes three lip liners so the first one i have here is my milani understatement lip liner and this one is in the shade rich cocoa is actually one of my favorite lip liners i have two of these because the milani lip liners are just really smooth and creamy they go on really really nice and i love that color for my nude lipsticks and then i also love this one this is the kylie cosmetics lip liner in hot chai this one is a warmer tone 
brown it's a little bit lighter than rich cocoa but it's still really really good for my actual nude lip combos and then the last lip liner that i pulled out this is the nyx suede matte lip liner and this one is in the shade copenhagen so it's more of like that bricky almost berry tone so again it's going to coordinate really really nice with those more mauvey purpley deep berry lipsticks that i pulled out so i'm super excited to be using these and then the same for my eyeliners so i have here three different eyeliners i have one from ColourPop. this is their creme gel liner and this one is in the shade macrame it's a nice nudie gold color with some shimmer I also have this one by LA Girl and this one is just a dark brown eyeliner and then we have Perversion by Urban Decay which we all know is the blackest black eyeliner. So I'm super excited for these eyeliners because they're going to go really really nicely with the looks that I have planned. Let me finish up with these eye products that I chose right here. There's only three of them. First of all the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eyeshadow Primer. Highly highly recommend this. I am wearing it on my eyes right now you guys. I cannot speak and say enough good things about this eyeshadow primer i am obsessed already obsessed already i'm kind of upset that i have a project pen going with my urban decay eyeshadow primer potion in eden because i want to use this eyeshadow primer every time i do my makeup this is so good and i have mine in the shade number two it only comes in three shades so shade number two is like um like a yellowy bone type of color exactly what it looks like right here is what it looks like on the eyes it is the perfect color for me to cancel out my lids and really make my eyeshadows pop and the formula and the consistency is just chef's kiss i love this product so i'm obsessed you guys literally I, like i'm obsessed okay and then i chose two of my ColourPop single eyeshadows because y'all know i love my ColourPop super shock shadows so the first one is lightning bug i actually have this on my eyes today and this is shimmery glittery heaven you guys like this oh, look at that look at that shimmer look at that shine look at the reflex and then look at the base color it is absolutely stunning and i look at that i just hit pan oh my god i just hit pan on it from swatching it i really do love this color though so that's actually a good chunk of product missing from it because i do use this eyeshadow and then this is one of my newer super shock shadows this one is in the shade um secret garden so i actually just got this one in recently and it is so so pretty and there's nothing like getting a brand new super shock shadow and look at that color you guys it's like a pink and then it has pink, purple, and silver reflex in it. It almost looks like it has an orangey base as well. I don't know. It's just really, really pretty. So I'm excited to use that as well. Now we can actually get into the eyeshadow palettes, you guys, because, oh my God, I'm so excited about what I chose. So the first one here is the Urban Decay Naked Honey Eyeshadow Palette. I have actually already been wearing this palette. I've worn it two days this week already, and I am obsessed because I have been craving to wear this eyeshadow palette and I have definitely satiated my need to wear this one so these are what the colors look like if you guys have never seen this eyeshadow palette but I'm pretty sure you have because it's been around for quite some time I love it it is a warm tone lover's dream and then these goals in here just are so stunning they look so beautiful on my skin tone and i didn't even realize that i had such a huge dip in this shade right here called hive can you guys see that that dip is huge so i will probably be rotating this into my project pen sometime this year so that i can see if i can hit shade on that hit pan on that shade because like the dip is huge in here but y'all i love these colors let me just go ahead and swatch honey hbic queen and amber i am absolutely obsessed like look at those colors everything is nice about this palette so i'm excited to keep using it the next palette that i'm glad i put into my shop mustache because i am so ready to buy her naughty nude palette it's not even funny i know that palette has been out for a while but i never bought it and i'm trying to talk myself out of buying it at least waiting until the sephora vib sale when i can get it for 20 percent off but this is the huda beauty new nude eyeshadow palette i don't have a clue why i ever put this eyeshadow palette down because the colors in here are beautiful the shimmers in here are beautiful you guys can see that i have some really nice usage in some of these shadows from 
from this palette because I really did used to dig into it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then I just kind of put it down and haven't really been using it. But I'm so ready to get back into it because these shimmers are out freaking rages. Can you not? Y'all know I'm obsessed with my shimmer and my pearlescent and all of that good stuff. And that's what these eyeshadows are. They're stunning. They're beautiful. You can use them as toppers. You can use them just on their own. But they are so beautiful. And I don't know why I don't pull this palette out more. Next is a palette that I've already talked about and told you guys that I have been loving all over again. This is the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Eyeshadow Palette. Now, for this one, you guys. Listen, okay, these shimmers, these dual chromes, they have been doing it for me. I have been so in love with this palette, obsessing over all of the looks that I do with it. You guys can kind of see that it's been getting a little bit more use. I'm ready to have fun with this palette. I'm ready to use it a bit more. Y'all, the colors in this palette are absolutely stunning. And that's all I want to say about it because the palette that's behind it is the one that we really need to talk about, okay? And I will be doing a get ready with me using this palette along with the other items in the Shop My Stash so that you guys can kind of see how I would use these products and how they work on my skin and all of that. You guys, I bought four of the Pat McGrath palettes during her end of the year sale and this was one of them. This is the Utopian Dream Eyeshadow Palette. Everybody knows about this palette. It is a stunner. It is a beauty. Y'all, I showed my boyfriend these eyeshadows and how they have this really pretty shift and flip to them and he was just wow. He was in shock that they were that glittery that pigmented that buttery and soft and the fact that they had like that trichrome to them he was just so shocked about it so especially this color right here y'all know that this is the trichrome eyeshadow y'all i am so obsessed with this palette i think this is actually my favorite pat mcgrath palette that i have right now so like i said i will be doing a get ready with me so stay tuned to actually see this palette in use but um, with that being said, you guys, I think that is everything in the Shop My Stash.
Okay guys, so I am back with everything done. This is the completed makeup look with me all put together. And before I close out this video and jump off of camera, I really just wanna quickly talk about the products that I use today. So I really enjoy everything that I use today. I feel like every single product that I use work together to create this beautiful makeup look. My skin looks flawless. Everything is sitting well. I just need to see how it's gonna wear because I feel like the um, NYX Marshmallow Primer didn't do what I would like it to do as a primer. Y'all know I love my gripping primers and I love my pore filling primers and that one kind of felt more so like a lotion. So I don't know if it's going to do any oil controlling or help the Juvia's Place foundation to hold up on my skin. So we're going to have to see about that. But I will say that the only con that I have with this entire makeup look is that it's pretty dark. So the Juvia's Place foundation I feel like is a good color match for me. It's in the shade Burkina and I do feel like that is a good color match for me right now because Gabon is my summer shade. But I think the Fenty powder darkened it. So the shade 420 and the Fenty foundation powder I believe that is my summer shade because it darkened up my whole face. In addition to the loose Fenty setting powder in Honey, which I told you guys, I know that that powder isn't very highlighting under my eyes like I would like it to be. So even with using that plus the darker powder foundation, I feel like my face is just not as bright and highlighted as I would like. I tried to go in with the Morphe Filter Effect setting powder to brighten it up and I feel like it did a good job on camera. But in person, my face still looks just a bit dark. But that's the reason why we're doing Shop My Stash. That's the reason why I'm trying to get familiar with my collection and items in my collection that I don't really use much so I can know okay like hey these products are strictly for the summer these products are for the winter these products you can use year round you know that's why I'm trying to do shop my stash so I can kind of get familiar with my entire collection but other than those two I guess hiccups this whole look is absolutely stunning I don't even have to talk about the Pat McGrath Utopian Dream eyeshadow palette because this look right here I'm going to zoom you guys in this look is phenomenal it's unmatched just ridiculously gorgeous so these are the eyes up close my eyelashes might look a little bit wonky but just pay attention to the eyeshadow you guys because this is so just outrageously gorgeous it's unreal the shift in this is just immaculate it's beautiful so that's everything you guys i'm going back through my makeup bag with all the products in it um all of these products are amazing the juvia's place eyeshadow primer i highly recommend this like 1000 percent the foundation and concealer is beautiful it sits beautiful on my skin the highlights are amazing the bronzer you can't get it any get it anymore it's been discontinued but it's a beautiful bronzer um the doja cat bh cosmetics blush palette highly recommended it. it's gorgeous elf putty bronzer i knew that that was a favorite of mine and it's beautiful everything is just gorgeous with this look so that is it you guys that's everything i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoy seeing the shop my stash and the get ready with me and you know just hanging out with me and going through my collection i hope you guys really enjoyed that of course i will be doing another one of these once i rotate through all of these products so yeah that's all i have for you guys so if you like this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it if you you're new sis definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace